Well, it's Monday morning. It's a beautiful day. A little breezy. Temperature drop about 20 degrees. It's in the 60s. And low, low 60s. Maybe high 50s. I don't know. Um, I'm going to the post office to get some some boxes to ship some thinkers with. You know, my gray matter. I just got a text from Denny. Him and the guru went to the Thimble Beach this morning. And the guru struck a giant, long, 14K chain. I'll show you some pictures of it in this video. I mean, it was a knockout chain. 14K, I guess it's either 28 to 30 inches long. 14K Italy. Okay. Then he give me a report on what he found, so I'll, I'll get that later too. See you later. All right, I got the box ready. Initially ready, I should say. I used to ship 12 and 13, 14 pounds in these little boxes, but I found it worked a whole lot better if you put 10 pounds in them or around that or 11. I put nylon tape on the outside of them to, to hold them together because you get a lot of abuse being moved around so much in the postal service. Stand by. I put the desired amount in a Ziploc bag and weigh it for extra strength. That's just the beginning. Then duct tape around the package. Then more duct tape this way, more duct tape this way, and a roll of another row of nylon around the outside. And that's ready to go. Probably come in around 11 pounds now with the box. 11.22 going to California California $5.80 put another one up or two more up at not at auction $10 straight for 10 pounds and they paid a freight so it would cost them $15.80 we'll see how that goes then I get a priority label Fill out the name and address, and then stick that to the box, and then put clear nylon tape over it. Then you're ready to go. Well, I was going for a spin. I got all of my gear in my truck, and then it started raining. You probably can't see it, but it's raining. Not heavy, but raining. Beaver's at the beach. He's at the land of Nada now. I'm waiting to get a report from him. He says it's raining kind of hard down there. Me and Jack are going for a walk if the rain don't catch us. Come on. It's showers. I don't know. You can see how bad it looks, but I don't know. Beaver, uh, Beaver didn't find hardly anything at Nada. He's at the Thimble Beach now hunting around. I don't think uh, Danny went. I don't know about the Guru. He got that big gold ch wrist chain today. He's probably fired up, so he might have went today. We'll see how it goes. Stand by. She was always the one who helped them. Yeah, she's in there. She, only she's like anti-government now, mm -hmm. and I don't know if she's against Jack Bauer or anyway. She's anti-government, so she's got this real edgy hair. What you doing, Big Ol' Jack? You wait for the Big Ol' Black Kitty Cat to come around the corner? <laughs> Inbound, 10 minutes. <laughs> you can hunt the dry sand for a while this morning, have a good time, I guarantee you. I'm yeah, on the whole dang on beach. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> See what that'll be dick. You see the shower start right here, so you can see them sticking up there where that guy on that little moped train thing is, or whatever you call those things. Looters, inbound. Somebody left a scoop out over here. More looters. Oh, that's me. I ain't going nowhere. Inbound, Northern Territory. One more guy over there, Low Tide Tim. Hello there, Mr. Seagull. What are you doing this morning? There's a dry sander. Local fella, Mr. Marvel. You know who that is. I think I know him. I don't know who that is. He's back deep though. That's the guru. Yeah.